So this just um, broke on Variety not too long ago. Tyler Perry, uh, Divorce in Black. The numbers are running up. He's he basically telling y'all to talk to him nice. So um, there are a few stats on Divorce in Black and the success of the movie. I know a lot of people were like, the movie was horrible. Mm-hmm. I didn't watch it all the way through. Why we keep supporting Tyler Perry? But baby, Tyler Perry's audience pulls up for him. Always. So the movie drove more Prime Video signups in the U.S. than any Amazon MGM Studios movie produced wow. to date. The film debuted number three on Nielsen's movie charts with 498 million minutes watched. So somebody wow. sat and watched that movie all the way. A lot through. of people. I wanted, somebody. I wanted to, a lot of people. Yeah, I wanted to, I'm one of the somebodies. I watched mm-hmm. it. Um, and then on a, the Luminates char, uh, movie chart, 93.2 million minutes watched during the week of July 26th. And this was only the third week that the mm-hmm. movie had been on Prime Video. Drop on the clues bonds for Tyler Perry. I don't know why they be playing with Tyler Perry like that. I don't that. know either. I don't know, but listen, I, he's consistent. He and, shows and improves. It's, it's not, it's not broke, so he ain't fixing it. And you know what else Tyler Perry does? He super serves black people. Tyler Perry yes. not trying to do nothing but super serve black people. Yes. There's not too many people who super serve black people the way Tyler Perry does. With Tyler, content. Perry, Tyler Perry is is strictly for us, by us. Gives jobs. I never behind thought the about scenes, it like in front that. Of the scenes. I know that he does a lot. I know yeah. you didn't. No, only because it's like he's grown so much because of everything he's accomplished. But he, I mean, all because of black people. A hundred percent. But I, I'm thinking back to like, like you said, yeah. my first time watching Medea on DVD. You still get the same feeling when you watch his movies now. It's super like, I don't know, it's just like my grandma want to watch it, my same. mom want to watch it, I want to watch it, my niece mm-hmm. want to watch it. I started watching my dear because of my, my mother-in-law. It was on, on DVD and it wasn't even, it was a stage play. Yes, I got the stage watched. play DVD. Yep. yep. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, shout out to Tyler Perry. So, um, to something that didn't go so well, the Olympics and breakdancing. So, y'all know this year, <laughs> <laughs> in the 2024 Olympics, um, they had breakdancing as one of the Olympic sports and it's just, it was just announced that when they bring the Olympics to, to when they bring the Olympics to LA in 2028, break dancing will not be one of the sports. Now you know that there are different committees that get to choose what the sports are. Yes. But a lot of people online are basically saying that this was the first time that break dance, break dancing was considered a sport and brought to the Olympics, and it won't happen again because of a woman who competed named Rachel Gunn, aka Ray Gunn. Mm-hmm. And let me tell y'all something about Ray, Ray Gunn. Gunn. Okay, who the hell calling her Ray Gunn? <laughs> let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> My sis has a PD, a PDD, a PhD in, in break dance, dancing and dance. You can get a PhD in dance I, I, in Delaware. Oh, Delaware. What okay. Oh, at what? Tell University of Delaware, which is almost an Ivy League school? I didn't say anything. Oh, okay, keep giving she us that. Almost an Ivy League It is considered, it's, it's, it's very top of the top. Ray Gunn. But no, Ray Gunn didn't go to University of Delaware because mm-hmm. if she did, she would have had a little bit of, because her breakdancing moves did not hit it. She was horrible. She lost horribly, 54 to zero. She wasn't awarded any points whatsoever. Um and she, and more more than anything, she was like the meme of the Olympics. She was, and it's crazy because the Olympics committee said that they added break dancing because they wanted to attract a younger audience, mm-hmm. a social media a TikTok audience, and baby, did Ray Gun do that? But you know what? I, I was watching Snoop's page, and Snoop posted some of the other break dancers. Yeah, and they were getting busy. They, they were, were really, really, really good. Yes. So it's it's really <laughs> messed up. I mean, I don't think break dancing is a sport. I'm sorry, I just it's just not a sport, <laughs> but. The dance contest that they dad that that Snoop posted was they were doing their thing. That's Not the dance contest, like a six year old birthday party. It's interesting you say that because the Olympics probably stopped doing it because of the backlash they received from social media. Mm-hmm. Because social media always wants to focus on the worst of the worst. That's true. If they would have focused on the people who were actually good in break dancing, then maybe the Olympics would be bringing it back next year. Oh, that would have been amazing. But so once again, who ruined it for everybody? Since we want to have fun, have you seen the videos of Ray Gunn? You seen them? Yeah, had a white woman. I posted them. Doing that, a money hop. That and all is, that. Those are some of the best things that have come out of social media Olympics. Yes. Yeah, but it takes away from the people who are actually good. Right. And being that it took away from the people who are actually good, they took it away from the Olympics altogether next year. But gotcha. all I know is, if she could be in the Olympics, I know my moves could be in the Olympics, hands down. You got something? I, I, I'm better than Rave Gun. Whatever you, you call never them. focus on the lowest bar. Focus on the highest <laughs> bar. Who won the gold? I, de- I can't uh, be. We don't even know who won the gold in breakdancing. Who won the gold? We, um, we you don't. see what I'm saying? We don't. Niggas always focusing on the worst. <laughs> I could of be the worst. Gunner. I know. We I don't even up. know who won the gold. Uh, nope. You so what I'm think saying? it's a um, black guy that won. Yeah, I think, think it's a black you guy. Think, <laughs> was, you it think, least, think, was it at least America? On. Did America win the gold? No, I think it was Haiti. Yo, who won the gold in breakdance? I never bad. thought I would Google that. No, actually, it was um, a guy named P. Kim from Canada. And then second was uh, his 
the initial, they're D Civil from France. Third is V Montalvo from the U.S. Oh, let's see. Where'd I you get Haiti from? I don't he know. Just I I read that he just made that up. He just made that up. I swear it was Haiti. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> like, I, what? I swear I thought somebody told me that. <laughs> wow. Okay. Um. Oh, we got to wrap it up? Dang, I wanted to tell y'all what Ray Gunn had said. Yeah, go ahead. You can tell us what she said. She said... It niggas. Was... <laughs> That's what she said. Y'all ruined it for me. <laughs> she better not have said <laughs> niggas. <laughs> what she said? She said it was disappointing... Um, that it was decided that it wouldn't be in LA, particularly before we even had a chance to show it. She don't need to show nothing. Huh? That was basically she's saying before it got to like really have a couple games, like being a different, like a couple different times oh, in the Olympics. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, well, that's your fault, Regan. You ruined it for everybody. She sure said did. it was possibly a little premature. That that wasn't the only thing premature, baby. Them them spins was given Tyler. Break dance is not a sport. I don't got nothing to do with that argument. I'm just telling you, sis, in that PD, Am PhD. Am I bugging? Breakdancing ain't no damn sport. Yo, it my, can be. Why can't it be? It's, I, it's very active. You know what I mean? It takes a lot of physical energy to do. Yeah, you got to uh, train. Yeah, you got to do. Uh, you got to practice the moves. It can be a sport. I don't see why it can't be. It just never has been, but it can be. Okay. Yeah. Whatever you guys say. <laughs> all right, y'all. All right. Well, that is just with the mess with Lauren LaRosa. Now we got all other forms of dancing that's considered sports in, in the Olympics so is why not break dancing considered could that be an Olympic sport why not it could be it could be why Ray Gun better don't you get no ideas she Ray better Ray Gun about yeah, to get on that pole <laughs> now <laughs> she ain't had no ass does she have ass honestly she, baggy clothes she has a PhD I think she would try anything okay she better not alright well who you giving your donkey to man four after the hour we need uh, a woman named Vera Liddell to come to the front of the congregation. We would like to have a word with Vera. Vera is out here stealing, stealing out of the mouths of babes. We'll discuss. All right, we'll get to that next. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning. Wake that ass up. Early in the morning. The Breakfast Club.